And welcome, and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. And tonight we are reviewing Victory Sour Monkey. Monkey. V, a victory for your taste. Seven. Here we have, uh, it's a 12 ounce bottle, 9.5% alcohol by volume, it is an ale, and approved by Brewmaster Bill Ron. Who the fuck has a first name and a last name? L. Ron Hubbard. Maybe it's longer and you just put, if it's like Rondell or something. Could be. Or something else. Hey Rondell, got that sour monkey? We had a lot of requests for this beer. Uh, everybody says it's really good. 9.5% 9. 9. is a big It's a, a big, big number. Beer. That's a big beer. It says Bretomyces in it, which Bretomyces is a yeast that generally tastes a little barnyardy. So if you're yeah. familiar with that, um, a country boy uses it a lot. Ooh. You never smell the sour. Yeah, you get sour in there. And you kind of smell the barnyard a little bit too. <laughs> Just a tiny bit though. It's not overpowering. Uh, head oh, is yeah. white. Yeah. Uh, um, fluffy. Going away pretty fast. The carbonation is, it's medium, maybe yeah. going towards heavy. It's got some legs on it a little bit. It's sticking around if you try it when you switch it or switch it in the glass. I like bit. the smell. I think it smells Oh yeah, it, it's a, it's kind of a, it's oddly a re refreshing smell. It smells like a summer beer. Yeah. So, shall we? Yes, we shall. It's quite smooth. It's quite sour. <laughs> sour up front. Yeah. Um, Finish up, you get a little of uh, the uh, maltiness towards the back end. It finishes up with the malt, it takes away that. A little bit, yeah. It's, it's kind of like you would get with a hoppy beer. You know, a hoppy beer started hoppy and finished off with the malt. Yeah. This starts out sour and finish then finishes off with the malt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I get that too. It does have a little bit of that barnyard funk, but I don't, it's honestly done really well in this beer. Yeah, it does, because I don't get that. I really don't pick up the barnyard funk. I get, I, I, I get it in there, but it's not. Uh, Super prominent. So where were the tasting points for this? We had citrus, sour, bread mice uh, from a triple. Uh, triple puts a tastefully tart twist, sharp citrus flavor in between, and I feel like that delivers on that because you do. Get, I do feel like you get that. Sharp. There's no way I could detect nine point five percent. Oh this yeah, beer. no. This is it goes down too smooth for nine point yeah. five percent. Yeah, I would consider this like I, I, if I was drinking this up at like maybe four, maybe five. Percent? Maybe, and then and then you know, you get two in there and just like, Ooh. yeah, you'd be uh, pretty good. Yeah. Um, this was ten dollars for a sixer, which is pretty reasonable for a nine point five percent. Yeah, that that's I'm pretty. Now sure. that was on sale. I think regular price it's like ten ninety nine or eleven ninety nine. But even then, that's, that's still another, another dollar. So yeah, yeah that's not that bad for a, like a nine point five. Yeah, let's say you have that. That's a weekend. Right that, there. Yeah, that's a weekend. That is six pack a weekend. I really enjoy this beer a lot. And it's really, it, it's real drinkable. It's not really it heavy. It finishes pretty cleanly. And yeah, I, now it feels like light. It's not watery. It's definitely light. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I am well. I am noticing that after even getting through about half of this sampler glass, the sourness is starting to stick around more mm -hmm. and more. And I think that might be what keeps it from just being something that you smash. Yeah. I think. So if you like sour beers. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. Oh yeah, for sure. If you don't like sours, I wouldn't. Rec I wouldn't recommend it as like, as your you know. If you want to dip your toe into sours, you probably wouldn't want to try something like this. You'd probably want to go for. Oh shit. It was a. Um, I can't think of the brew. The apricot sour ale. Yeah. yeah I, I can't remember. I can't remember, I can't remember the, the name of the brewery, but. Yeah. Like, is so. It ten, ten man. Yeah. Yeah, ten man apricot sour. If you want to get the sours, that'd be a, that's a good one. That's an Indiana with. brewery, I believe. Yeah. So let's go ahead and rate this. I'm gonna give this an eight. I think it's great. <coughs> yeah. yeah right over oh yeah, I just went down the wrong way. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna give this an eight. I think it's uh, great. I would mm -hmm. highly recommend it if you're in the sours. Um, price is right. Percentage of ABV is right. It's 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 almost. It'll get you drunk. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good. <laughs> yeah. Um. What did you say? Eight point eight. Eight. I'm probably gonna go seven point five. Um, really, the only detraction from this, aside from being a, a great sour, is that it sticks around after you drink a lot of it. I feel, and I feel like that's a big hit against it because it's gonna keep you from really enjoying more than one in a right. in a setting. Now, if it's yeah, if you want to start with this, 
and then go to something else, I'm pretty sure that'd be fine. Or maybe start with this, go to something else, and then come back to it. Yeah. But um, again, if you don't, if you're not into sours, I wouldn't start with something like this because this right. is more. I guess this is a more mature sour beer. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. You know, probably start with something more a, a fruit sour as opposed to yeah. what they got going on here. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon and Facebook. I'm Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.